Hello everybody, I'm Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and I love helping mamas by sharing videos on faith, family, home, and food. So if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so and click that little bell so you'll be notified when another video is uploaded. So I'm back today and we're continuing our Ephesians memorization and this is like week maybe three, I think it's three, no, four, whatever. This is week four. So we've memorized up to Ephesians 1, 1 through 15 so far, and we'll be adding on 16 through 20 this coming week that we'll be memorizing. The following week, we'll have to memorize three scriptures, and the week after that, we will just focus on solidifying our memorization in chapter one, and that's when we will also do the Ephesians um, chapter one Bible study. So that'll be the week that we're just solidifying our memorization. And I think it'll also just like really, really um, um, help us to understand more what we've been memorizing and it'll all begin to make sense for us. Okay, so um, I'm, oh, another thing. Last week, verse 13, verse 13 was one of the hardest for me but I also found out that I wrote it down wrong. You know how the Bible, like, or, or any book, you have words on this side, and when you, transfer, when you go over to the next side to write, you end up missing some words, and that's what I did. So not only was it hard for me to memorize, I didn't even have the scripture down wrong, right. So I had to re-memorize it. Thankfully, it wasn't hard. I thought I was like, oh my goodness, this is really going to be hard. But it wasn't. Thankfully, it wasn't hard. And also, when I added the, I wouldn't say sentence, the words that I had memorized, it made sense when I put them in. So I was like, oh, that makes sense. So um, anyway, so if you heard um, last week when I read off 13 it was wrong so hopefully you follow, followed along with your bible and your note cards that you have written and you saw that it was wrong unless you're um memorizing a different translation you wouldn't have even noticed <laughs> okay so we're gonna begin reciting verses 1 through 15 and like i said if you're memorizing a different translation just lower my voice so you do not have to hear me and you just recite what you have memorized so far um what else i think that's it for now <clears throat> <clears throat> paul an apostle of jesus christ by the will of god to the saints which are in ephesus and the faithful in christ jesus grace be to you and peace from god our father and the lord jesus christ blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to his good pleasure and will. To the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to his riches and grace, wherein he has abound toward us with all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he has purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are, not, which are in earth, even in him <clears throat> in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also after that ye believed Ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchase, until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of his glory. 
Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints. Okay, so that was 15. I had to flip through my cards because like I said, when I flip, I kind of stay on track of one, two, three, four, five, or I use my fingers um, to like stay on track and know that I'm like not getting off. Okay, so that was one through 15. And hold on, I gotta get my. <clears throat> okay, I got 16 th through 20. I had them on the refrigerator. Okay, so 16 through 20. <clears throat> 16. Cease not to give thanks for you. Making mention of you in my prayers. 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. 18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. 19 <clears throat> and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe according to the working of his mighty power 20 which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places so that's 20 16 through 20 um, if you have like just came in on this Feel free to just start from the beginning um, and you may be doing another Bible study and not able to do this at this time. Just save the playlist and, you know, do it in the summer, do it in the summer months when you're not focusing possibly on another Bible study that you don't have enough, you know, time to fit this in. So you can always do this. Um, I'm just here for accountability and to like journal someone's process through memorizing scripture and in this case we're memorizing the book of Ephesians. I hope you all have been having a good time memorizing this. I hope the Lord is revealing to you what Ephesians is about and um and that you're just getting insight on the importance of knowing the word of God, knowing his word and hiding it in your heart. Um so we won't sin against him and just like I say, knowing who God is, how faithful and loving he is for what he has done for us by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross for us, raised from the dead. He took on our penalty of sin and he's seated at the right hand of the father and he will be coming back again to receive his church. So if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, repent it and turn away from your sins. I pray that you do so. Um, if you know, and I'm sure all of us know at some point, we are sinners. We are not good people. We are wicked. You know that by our thoughts and our minds, things we think. And you wonder like, what is wrong with me? Well, why do I think like this? It's because we are born in sin. And um, we are separated from God. And the only way back to him is through his son. That's the only way. There's no other way. Um, to get back to him. So I just pray that you will seek Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And everything not going to be all peaches and cream. Um, you're not going to live uh, your best life now here on earth. No, no, you're not. <laughs> so, you know, all those lies are not true. You will be persecuted. You may be um, ostracized. People may not want to be around you anymore. Um, and you know, you might have to turn away from things that you enjoy doing, but God hates. So I just pray that you will continue to do this, um, challenge, I guess you can call it with me and we'll continue to memorize God's word and to get to know him more. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.